Hello, and welcome to part one of July's Next Stop News. As you guys know, this is just a fleet status, so we will only be talking about buses. Transit will come in part two. Here's what we'll be discussing in this month's installment. First off, what everyone's been talking about, the Bronx bus redesign went into effect with the summer pick of June 26th. This caused the BX25 to return for the first time in 12 years, and the M125, a Tuskegee-based route, to be annexed into the system. Seeing a Manhattan route traverse into the Bronx is super lit. As a result of the M125's annexation, the BX15 and M100 were also cut back from 125th Street. The BX28 remained at Gun Hill with Kingsbridge strippers, and the BX35 did not go to Kingsbridge as once thought. Several other buses were rerouted in the Bronx, namely the buses that stop at the 181st Street busway. 125th Street was completely reimagined by this. Instead of there being a Bronx route on the 125th Street corridor, it became exclusively confined to Manhattan routes, with two routes being cut from the corridor. And the BX-15 now only has to serve 3rd Avenue in the Bronx, therefore not needing as many Arctics. Passengers are still being picked up at discontinued stops, however. C-40LF's 262 to 265 were transferred from Gleason to West Farms, and Tuskegee beefed up its Arctic fleet by receiving the following LFSAs from Kingsbridge in order to prepare for the redesign. 6218 and 5509 were also loaned to Tuskegee temporarily. Several depot's centers of gravity have definitely been shifted a bit due to this. 14 2011 LFSs were loaned from Queens Village to Gun Hill and Kingsbridge for the initial moments of the redesign to cover for some ATVs that were temporarily out of service. One of the units even ended up sporting Bronx bus maps. 4003 and 8846 were also sent to the Bronx, but never hit service, as those were only transport buses for those that sent the 2011 LFSs up there. Six LFSs listed here were sent from Jamaica to Queens Village to cover for the 2011s that Queens Village lost in the process. East Chester even beefed up their assigned next-gen count from 26 to 32 for extra service in the Bronx. The XDE-40 order has officially been completed. Congratulations, new flyer. You did it. Mother Claire Hale received his final two option XDE-40s, 9496 and 9499, on May 26th and May 18th, respectively. This completed their XDE-40 order, allowing them to have all 38 options and all 68 XDE-40 units. 9496 entered service on May 26th, while 9499 hit service on June 3rd, the last XDE-40 out of hail to do so. 9496 took a quick hiatus from June 1st to June 18th, and although it has a broken tracker, it has in fact been delivered to hail. Manhattan Blue received the final three XDE-40s from Quill, 9450, 9599, and 9607, increasing their total to 75 units and finishing their swap with the aforementioned depot. 9599 hit service on the M104 on June 8th, 9607 hit service on the same route a day before, and 9450 hit service on the M10 on June 20th for the first time since May 13th. The depot also received their final XDE-40 unit, 9416, bringing their XDE total to 76, as well as giving them their first factory fresh new flyer, while simultaneously completing the XDE-40 delivery as a whole. 9416 was initially spotted at Zuriga on June 25th and delivered to Manhattanville on July 2nd, entering service on the M104 on the same day. What is it with the XDEs hitting service on the M104? All of Manhattanville's slated XDEs have had a chance to enter and re-enter service out of this depot. 9424, however, has been out for maintenance since June 4th. Many of Manhattanville's buses are starting to become stained with unpleasant graffiti, and one of their XDE-40s, 9444, was subject to a rising trend of vehicle surfing, as seen here. The depot also borrowed 9563 and 9585 from Hale for one day, May 31st, which scared the crap out of me as I thought Hale was getting involved in the trade. Thankfully, they are not. Hale is the closest depot to normalcy right now. They cannot afford to mess that up. Manhattanville also received LFS ATVs, four bases and four options, 9642 to 43, 47, 86, 9807, 9811, 20, and 54, which increased their total from 66 to 74 units, still keeping the LFS ATV total lower than that of the XD40s, however. Initially, it looked like the order was speeding up in early June, but then it came to a grinding halt once again. 
Nova cannot get their beans together. Quill received 97.29, bringing their grand total to 76 LFS ATVs and completely filling their expected amount. It hasn't been smooth sailing for them just yet, however. Their ATVs are still experiencing breakdowns, such as 97.40 on June 23rd. Credit to Dev, by the way, for that picture. Their last active XDE-40 was 96.07, which left the depot on June 7th, although 95.92 did go to visit a few days later. Ironic. Just like the XE-40s, they have been cleared out of the depot. They also received an LFSE demo on the 1st of June. Credit to G Check the Rail Fan for that photo. This is the same one that Nova showed off on their Instagram account. Tuskegee received three more ATVs, 96, 21, 32, and 35, and placed 96, 20, the numerically lowest ATV, into service on June 2nd. 96, 23 is at Zuriga. Once it arrives, it will bring Tuskegee's total of LFS hybrids to 18, a mere two units shy of their intended grand total. The two units they will still need after that will be 96, 22, and 96, 38. Some ATVs have had funny and wonky issues, such as 9620 and 9817, tracking on the M1 shortly after delivery. However, none have ever been assigned or delivered to hail. The Conehead delivery seemed to be the only one which didn't stall massively throughout June. Though 8815 was thought to be delivered to Queens Village, it was merely a glitch. Casey Stengel received 20 Coneheads between May 31st and July 1st, all of which are listed on your screen. There is no longer a concrete assignment for the Coneheads. If it was concrete, they'd only be receiving units from 8872 to 8963. Either way, seeing them utilize 8700s and 8800 itself is really cool. So far, it has units meant for Jamaica, units meant for Queens Village, and units meant for itself. It has 20 units in total. The first units to hit service were 8821, 69, and 8874 which did so on the Q16, Q20B, Q32, and Q76 on June 1st. These alone made history by being the first official 40-foot Novas assigned to Stengel. 8887 made history on June 22nd by being the first Nova bus to run on the Q44 Select Bus service since 2017, when the 2011-13 LFSAs were still at the depot. Jamaica received four new 2022 LFSs, 8853, 67, 77, and 8891, increasing their total to 20 coneheads, and topping them out equally to the other two depots through most of June. In fact, on July 1st, all three Queens depots had the same amount of coneheads, that being 20 units. Still not a single XD40 from Jamaica has moved to Brooklyn yet. Brooklyn's XD40 delivery rate has been absolutely abysmal, at least until July 1st. The only new buses Fresh Pond received from my last update on July 1st were 7860-62, two of which were already at the JFK vendor during last month's update. This may have had something to do with the strike at New Flyer St. Cloud plant, which was initially announced to be a possibility as early as April 22nd. 7861 overcame its pressure issue and entered service on June 27th. However, on July 1st, the XD40 order resumed with 7863 and 7864 being spotted on the way to New York City on July 1st, and 7863 with 7866 being delivered to the depot on July 2nd, the very next day. 7864 is currently present at the JFK vendor. Seems like we are about to ramp into top gear with the XD40s. Let's make it a good one, folks. Moving on to Prevost, Yonkers received 2022 Prevost 1487 to 1491, a five bus increase since last update. This means that their 39 bus allotment is now complete, and that before East Chester's. Crazy, I know, right? Out of these, 38 of them are in service. 1491 hit service on June 22nd, so only 1490 still needs to enter service. As a result, the 2005 CLs in particular are on their last legs here, and East Chester is the only Bronx depot that needs to complete their allotment. They will do so with three more buses. What's the next depot after Yonkers? You guessed it, Spring Creek. Spring Creek finally ramped up their reception of new equipment, accepting 1503, 12 to 14, and 1517 between May 25th and July 4th, with 1515 and 1518 being ready for delivery. 1512 was the first one to be delivered since January 20th, which initially arrived with a broken sign and no stickers. After a small tussle between the two depots, Spring Creek has finally yielded 1445 to Far Rockaway, allowing them to have their full allotment from 1430 to 1452. 
1533 was delivered to Basie Park and ran on the Q111. No, 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 that's not right. However, it did officially enter service on June 24th or before. Either way, the depot now has three of their eight expected prevos. Slowly, shit. Charleston got 1624 to 1628, increasing their total to 22 out of their 23 expected option order prevos. This retired D4500 CLs, 4307, 20, 23, as well as their final three 2005 X MTA bus CLs, 3069, 3072, and 3175 once and for all. The only place left to see them now is East Chester Scrap, where they are just a mere memory. As for the depot itself, they only need one more prevost to complete their order. Let's get it in. On April 25th, an article was released concerning the revelation that prevosts will be yielding control of their New York plant, thereby giving it to Nova. This will unfold by the end of the year, which coincides with the fact that the prevost delivery is expected to be finished by December. It all makes sense now. Hopefully, when this occurs, they will have a much better and coordinated delivery experience and will be able to deliver future electric orders with ease. To sum up all the new deliveries concerning Nova's progress, they still need to deliver 61 units, 2 for Tuskegee and 59 for Manhattanville, with 10 out of the 61 missing units being from the base order. The overall pace of delivery has been less than impressive. By the time the order finishes, the order will be ready to retire. That's just a joke guys, that's just a joke. Or is it? I don't really know anymore. In total, at least 60 coneheads are on MTA property, as they have been coming in really well. Don't quote that. Nova is delivering more promising imagery, however, as well. On May 11th, an image was released of 14 ATVs and 27 coneheads preparing for delivery, some without paint and some with missing parts. On June 15th, images were released outside the Nova facility of coneheads and ATVs ready to be delivered. Namely, three units, 8758, 9695, and 9814. On June 22nd, another image was released of several unpainted coneheads and ATVs at a Nova plant, as well as a somewhat blurry image of 8803 being decaled. Credit to Selfer Transit Graphics for that image. This is a good sign, though it does concern me that some of the ATVs are still unfinished. I thought that they would have all been ready by now at least, and yet the images mean nothing if the buses themselves aren't delivered in a timely manner. That would just mean Nova is overlooking the bigger picture. Hopefully, when they get here, the Department of Buggin knows what to do with The needle initially didn't move that much for New Flyer concerning their XD40s. That was until July. Because the delivery pace began to increase in July, it is something that I have overlooked. Prevost is focusing on depot completion, which is a smart strategy. As previously mentioned, December 2022 is the target month of completion for many of the orders. Concerning retirements, starting with the Bronx first, Gun Hill ceased uses of 3983 on May 16th after a trip on the BX30. However, 4543, a Zurika training unit, returned to Gun Hill and re entered service on June 18th on the BX38. However, this may have been their final active next gen as it hasn't run since June 19th on the BX28. If they don't need to reactivate units, then the HEVs at Gun Hill would have fulfilled their purpose. Manhattanville retired next gens 3848, 59, 69, 4073, 4347, and sent 4259, 69, 4363, and 4402 to LaGuardia, ending the 4400 series era at this depot. 4081, 4247, 4345, and 4362 were sent to East Chester Depot, not scrap, but East Chester Depot, for either training or revenue service, but not retirement. Thank you, MTA, for listening to me when I said this in May's update. They look really cool with bike racks. I'm trying to tell these things look cool. And a freaking spectrum on the cube. That is hotness. Uh, let me stop. This reduced Manhattanville's total to 78 next gens, 30 hawkers, and 48 lithiums. Michael J. Quill retired hawker next gen, 3942, reducing their total to four remaining hawkers which are listed here, 3863, 3917, 3920, and 3941. Though 3863 took a short hiatus from June 9th to June 23rd, it is indeed still at Quill. The depot also temporarily received 10 various loans from Manhattanville, Tuskegee Airmen, and Hale from June 16th to June 17th, those being a series of three Hawkers, five Lithiums, and two XDE-40s. This was done due to the fact that several ATVs were getting serviced and repaired in New Jersey at the time. 
which therefore forced them to be out of service for a while, causing a lack of buses. These HEVs have caused Manhattan to suffer long enough. Though 4116 is no longer assigned to Quill, it is still being used for training duty at Eastchester. Nevertheless, to fill in for some HEVs in a more effective manner, the lithium era has officially been rekindled at this depot, thanks to Tuskegee helping them out with two units. Tuskegee itself retired two Hawkers, 3880 and 3926, and transferred three Hawkers, 3884, 3900, and 3947, to Hale, and two Lithiums, 4126 and 4252, to Quill, reducing their total of next gens to three, two Hawkers and one Lithium. Those are 3861 to 3862 and 4251. All of Tuskegee's original pre-Nova units are now gone as they continue to gain confidence in their own batch of HEVs. All eight of Hale's next gens are still pushing strong. 3867 and 3882 both had broken trackers and have shown up as active as recently as mid-May. However, they are in fact retired. Queens Village subtly retired old gens, 6859, 6864, 6870, 6878, 6886, 6887, 6891, and 6896 using the 2015 LFSs. The most recent arrivals were 8103, 8106, 8403, and 8404, which came from Jamaica and went to Queens Village, meaning that 12 LFSs were used to replace the majority of the remaining old gens that the Coneheads did not address. Many of the old gens stopped running in late May or June 1st. Only a mere old gen, 6854, remains active, with 6887 being the latest one to retire. It will go down in history. Credit to David Haro, by the way, for these amazing pictures of the Queens Village old gens. Queens Village also handed 4225 and 4463 over to Stingle, while 4016 and 4401 were confirmed to still be active, meaning the depot now has a total of 60 next gens. In an ideal world, they would each be replaced as a result of bus displacement from the future XC40 order. 4003, as mentioned before, was briefly used as a transport bus on June 26th to transport 2011 LFSs to Gun Hill. In my opinion, this is just my opinion, you should nerf Queens Village to 44 Coneheads and give Jamaica 13 more so they can have 73. That way they could push a good deal of XD40s to Fresh Pond and other depots. Because as it sits right now, Jamaica would only be able to push out 40 XD40s in the future. But you're wondering why Jamaica received so many Coneheads. Part of it has to do with the issue that several LFSs were out of service for a very long time, and they needed fill-ins. Casey Stingle Depot retired quite a few next gens, namely 4132, 4177, 79, 84, 94, 4214, 4467, 4573 to 74, and 4679. 4679 is the very first 2010 next gen to ever retire. The depot now has a total of 12 retired next gens. They also sent four next gens, 4175 to 4176, 4197, 4204, 4208, and 4469 to LaGuardia, reducing their total to 73 next gens. 2015 XD40 7414 was damaged by Ida, but has since returned to Stengel. I have a feeling that it'll probably return to service very soon. Grand Avenue is keeping their 10 next gens around due to the fact that some of their 2018 XDE40s have been undergoing maintenance. 4518 out of Fresh Pond was retired. As far as MTA bus Orions are concerned, Basie Park retired 3772 due to an engine failure, reducing their total to 41 old gens. 3689 may have been retired as well, but I'm hearing reports that it's just a broken tracker. If this unit is retired, Basie Park's old gen total is actually 40. JFK retired 3684 as a result of this accident, as well as one other unit, 3640, reducing their old gen count to 102. 3560, however, has returned to service after a series of breakdowns. The depot hasn't received a next gen since May 10th. Seriously, Department of Buses, JFK needs a lot more next gens. <clears throat> Fresh ponds. Their old gens can't hang on forever. Just look at units like 3522, 3560 itself, 3636, and 3712 which have either broken down, been towed, or have just had trouble accelerating in general. Far Rockaway can't keep saving JFK's skin forever. 
LaGuardia retired 3544 and 3588, 3615 and 3739, and sent 3582, 91, 3624, and 3733 to East Chester Scrap. Keep in mind, those four units have been retired for a while. I reported them in May's update. 3592, however, was not retired. My apologies on that misnomer. They also sent 4506 and 4588 to East Chester for service. The depot therefore has 41 old gens and 79 next gens, though 4450 is supposedly recovering from an accident and is not retired. In addition to the old gen retirements listed previously, these units are candidates for retirement. They could be on the chopping block very soon, so keep an eye out for them. Conclusion is, old gens are almost a thing of the past at New York City Transit. There is literally one old gen left and 185 from MTA bus making for a total of 186. Don't give up hope on the old gens yet, however. Here's the very big announcement. On June 8th, it was revealed that some of the MTA bus coneheads will be delayed from November to December 2022, and will be retiring some old gens, namely 2007 ones, meaning that the ex New York City Transit next gens will not retire all the old gens at MTA bus, and therefore, more of the next gens will have the opportunity to retire instead. The amount of next gens that are either retired or in training duty is now about 180. Thank you for tuning in to July's edition of the Fleet Status. Please subscribe, stay blessed, stay healthy, stay hype, and thank you for riding with Next Stop News.